Hi there, ready for a little bit more faith and science? <coughs> Holy smoke! Can someone open a window, please? Holy smoke! Exploring faith and science. Hey there, I'm Faye, otherwise known as the Batty Boffin. Today we're going to do an experiment involving density. So you're going to need some water, some food colouring, some salt and a couple of CDs. Now, do please ask whoever they belong to first. Um, we're not going to do anything disastrous to them, but like, don't pick somebody's favourite ones. Um, I've got a bit of Fleetwood Mac here, which is quite nice. So come down here and see what we're going to do. So for this experiment, you will need two glasses. They be tall or short ones, it doesn't matter. And I've got some hot water here, and I'm going to put a little bit of food colouring in. There we go, a little bit of red food colouring in there. I've also got another jug of cold water. I put yellow food colouring in here. I've also put a whole load of salt in this. So that is cold, salty water and hot, fresh water. And if I can just have something to stir this with from my glamorous assistant, I'll get that stirring. In addition, you're going to need these two CDs, as I've said before, and we're going to use these to make... Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, glamorous assistant. We're going to use these to make a valve. So when the two CDs are together, we've got the hole goes through the middle. And when they're set offset like this, then we haven't got a hole. So we're going to need them like that to start off with. So we're going to fill up one glass with the cold, salty water right up to the top. That's quite important. And the other glass with the hot, fresh water. Now, in a minute, I'm going to put one glass on top of the other and I want you to see if you can work out what happens. If I put the cold, salty water on the bottom and the hot water on the top, what will happen? And if I swap them over, what will happen again? So have a think about that and we'll watch and see what happens. Just need a little bit more in there. There we go. OK, so uh, have a think about this during the break. OK, let's see how this goes. So I'm going to have my two CDs offset so there's no hole on top of the hot one. Do this bit over a sink or a tray, please. And we go one, two, three, hop! And put that on the top. Now, let's see what happens when we open the valve. And the answer is... absolutely nothing. The two liquids are not mixing. We still have the salty water at the bottom and we have the fresh water at the top. Nothing is happening. Right, let's try swapping it. This bit could be tricky. One, two, three. Hurley hoop. And look at that. Just straighten those up a bit. You can see the plumes, the red water coming up. And I'm not sure if you can see them, but I can see them down here, these kind of ripples coming down. We have a dense liquid at the top. The salt makes it denser and the being cold makes it denser. And the denser liquid is falling down. You can, I can see kind of ripples in here. I'm not sure if you can. Um, hot water down here, it doesn't have any salt in it and it's warmer so it's less dense so that is trying to rise and we can see these rather gorgeous plumes of the less dense water coming up. We're just going to speed this up now. So now we can see that those two liquids have pretty much entirely mixed. We started off with a yellow liquid and a red liquid and now we've got a kind of, well, orangey liquid in both of them. One way up they were completely separate and would not mix but the other way up they mixed very readily and you might not have been able to see it on the camera but I could see these beautiful kind of swirly bits as the dense liquids and the less dense liquids mixed together in some rather gorgeous plumes. And just in case you couldn't see those plumes, here it is again against a white background.
What a great experiment! And it reminds me of a fabulous story that you'll find in Acts chapter 10. Now, Jesus and his followers were Jewish, but the country they lived in was ruled by the Roman Empire, and the two of them really didn't get on. Jewish people didn't mix with Romans, Romans didn't mix with Jewish people. Just like those two liquids we had at the start, they didn't mix, just totally separate. But then something amazing happens, and we have a Roman centurion called Cornelius, who had heard about God and wanted to follow him. So he called to Peter, who was one of Jesus' friends and Jewish, to come and tell him all about God. Normally, those two would not have mixed. But when Cornelius heard about God, he said he wanted to follow God too. And so we had the two groups of people who would normally never get on, mixed with each other and formed a new family. And that's a great example of how in Christ, all of us, whatever background we come from, are all welcomed into God's new family.